Hi, I'm Mark from l and Small Engine. Today we're just going to tear down this 33 cubic inch Briggs & Stratton engine. It's a 21 horsepower. We're just going to tear it down and I'll show you what's all inside one of these engines. So, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, we'll start by taking the top off. Take the air filter cover out. Take the air filter out. And there's a little quarter inch screw right now. And I'd like a little cup to put all my screws and bolts and nuts in. Make sure you drain your oil before you do all this too. You don't oil out all, all over the place. Take off the hoses for the fuel pump. Now the top will slide off. Then we'll go ahead and take off the whole carburetor and intake assembly. Unhook this linkage. Go ahead and take the coil off. That's a 5 16 Then we'll unhook it from the spark plug. And unplug the ground wire. Now we'll go ahead and take this bracket off here. That's three eighths. We'll go ahead and take the muffler off. We got these little tabs that fold over on the bolt so they don't vibrate loose. Then I pound them. Inch. And we got a little bracket we got to take off. Three eighths. And then we got our muffler off. That's a five sixteenths. Got a voltage regulator there. Plug all that stuff. Now we'll probably take the flywheel off. Hold the flywheel on. Go ahead and pop the fan off. This is the fan that cools the motor. Screw that in there and let it be like about a quarter inch or so gap in between there. I'm going to grab this puller here. And tighten these down. You don't want to crack it or break it. Pop that out. Slide that out. I'm going to take our alternator off. And then we're quarter inch.
pop it off and there's pretty much all our charging system right there. Let me go and take the starter off now. Use either half inch wrench or a Torx. There's our starter. Go ahead and pop our valve cover off. It's like someone had this off before. There's gasket. Gasket maker on there. All wow, these newer newer brakes, they didn't even put a gasket on them. They just glued them on there. So you can see the original blue in there. And they got your valves, your lifters, and your push rods all right there. There's little torque screws. In the center of them, that's how you adjust it and tighten it. Go ahead and pop our push rods out. It's weird on these, the exhaust is made of steel and the intake's made of aluminum. If I was building this motor, I'd put steel on both of them, but I guess I'm not the one building the motors. There's your little tappets that go on top of the bells. Don't lose them. Okay, now I'll take the exhaust header off. So when you get to the bolts, take the head off. Then we start taking the Head off. Give it a gentle tap. And there you go, there's your head. Okay, now we can flip it. On the side, we'll take the take the pan off the bottom. Take off some wires here. That's your shield that keeps the air that goes through the fins to keep the motor motor cool. And you don't want to lose these pins. little pins right here. You definitely don't want to lose them when you tear it apart. That's what lines up the head and everything when you put it back on. And right down here, that's your oil pump. Show you what that looks like. There's a little shaft inside here that spins this around and oil gets collected in between these here and it gets squeezed down and it pressurizes the oil and it goes through all the little orifices into the head and around the bearings on the crank. A lot of the smaller smaller motors have like a like a little like a little dipstick type thing that sits on the bottom of the piston rod that splashes oil. That's how the smaller motors get lubricated, unless it has a pressurized oil system in it. Well, that's all it is. Spins around like that. And it fills one caveat full of oil and it presses it down. And that's how you have a pressurized oil system. I definitely don't lose this here. And when you tear them apart, make sure you lay them out so when you put stuff back together and like the bigger end always goes inside the motor where there's 
This one here is a little bit shorter. This the towel end always goes in there. Now we can take the pan off. That's where all the internal parts of the motor is. These are all half inch. And they usually lock tight these on there, so sometimes they're really hard to take off. Well, there's some of them where this tough. You have to get the air impact on them. See the, they have that Loctite on them. If you rebuild the motor, make sure you re-Loctite them too. Then we just slightly tap this loose. the inside of the motor and this right here this is your governor right here that's what regulates your speed that right there and on the cam here and on the crankshaft there's like two dots we're going to turn this so them dots line up. There's a dot there and dot there. That's, that's how you time it when you put it back together again. And there's your cam. And your lifters. This right here, this is your anti-vibration counterweight, I guess what you call them. Put on a single cylinder. You have to have that counterweight balance or else the things is gonna vibrate to all get out. You can take that gear off too. If these gears ever get bad, you can replace them. There's like a little keyway for them on the crank and there's your piston rod down there so you know if you have a broken piston rod or you need to you need to hone it out or if it's burning oil either get have a machine shop pour it over and get an oversized piston okay now we're gonna take the piston rod off the crank now on this particular one it's a Torx head a lot of them had like half inch bolts on them, but this one here is a Torx head. So what I, what I like to use is a ratchet wrench in the Torx. I like putting a piece of plastic in there so this stays stable. And we're just gonna turn them out. Part of the connecting rod. Now we gotta push the piston out so go like that. Just move it in there. And there's our piston. Still actually in pretty good shape. Now we 
take the crank out. Okay, this is the reason why I took this motor apart. The thing, it was going through starters left and right. See all these pieces right here? That's a compression relief. That right, it, it's bolted. It's bolted on the cam. And when it turns slow, it don't allow the uh, valve to shut all the way because these motors have so much compression in them. But yeah, it's going through starters left and right. And that's why here. Here's the cam we took out of it. And here's here's the new cam I'm gonna put in it. It has this compression relief thing on it. See how the old one it's gone. And like I said, these motors have so much compression. If you don't fix it, you'll just be burning out your starters left and right. So I just wanted to tear down this motor so you guys can see what's all in this motor and everything. Anyways. Hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching. And you have a good afternoon. Bye.